Today I'm on the bird fish and I'm super excited. We got 30 centimeters. Yeah, uh, aggressive too, like on when you get there, the powder is like. Woohoo! Check this thing out. <laughs> the Lip Tech Coho. It should be fun, man. Looks insanely fun. <laughs> There's no tail in this board. Yo, what's up guys? So we're on the glacier chair, heading up to find some powder. We're doing the powder board test. The Lib Tech Coho versus the Burton Fish. Yeah. It's going down, put these boards to the test, find some powder, find some drops. Let's Ooh. get it. Okay, so we just gotta go do a little hike over to a powder shoot, Pakalolo. Dude, I'm so excited right now! <laughs> All good, TJ? Words of Chris, we put in the work, now we reap the benefits. Yeah! So we're headed down to Pakalolo. Visibility is super bad, so we're just gonna take our time, watch each other to get our bearings. Right. Good shoot. <laughs> yeah, worth the hike for sure. How did the fish feel through there? It felt really good. Like uh, the float is on a whole nother level on these boards with the short tails. Like yeah. just weight fully centered and just gliding on top as if you're on a groomer. Each turn was just floating. Way less effort, a lot less work. Yeah. Not more in control yet because I'm not used to the feel, but right. on top of the powder, I was definitely standing on top. Yeah. And not having to get onto my back foot. Oh, there's this really nice drop down here. Should I hop up? Yeah, I'll just uh, shock put this to you. Nailed it! <laughs> Made that powder landing look easy. Yeah, the landing was easy on this board. I like landed even almost on both feet. <laughs> I don't know. It made a different noise than uh, typically when like you're on the, like a normal board. It's just much more of like a poof. The compression from riding into that second pillow made my legs buckle <laughs> with too much force. Good try, man. Good try. Sick pillow line. Yeah, there's just like a fun gully down here, just like wind through, and then we take like a sharp right. Okay. I'll go up this, and then off the second one. Okay. The first one was really, really smooth, really fun. Landed even both feet, but the second one, I just uh, kind of forgot what board I was riding. I landed too tail heavy. So yeah, with these uh, powder boards, just landing flat. Yeah, there's a cliff in here somewhere. I just gotta find it. There's not much contrast between the air and the snow, so it's hard to see like 
when you're about to land. <laughs> yeah, did it sneak up on you? It snuck up on me a bit, but I rode it out okay. It looked really deep when you landed and it yeah. just looked like half your body disappeared. All right, there's just some fun like powder slashes through here. Yeah, there is. Oh yeah. Oh man, really fun on this board. Really fun. <laughs> you got a couple of really good turns in there. Once I landed, I picked up a ton of speed and it got flat and choppy, so I just buckled again. Too much pressure. You got, got snow? snow inside my goggles, so I'm gonna have to fix that real quick, too. All right. So that time I thought if I go a little bit further and catch the tranny on the second pillow that that would allow me to ride out better. But it was like steep tranny to flat. So as soon as I hit the flat, it was just front flip. Just follow you off of it. All right, on your marks. It's the fish versus the coho. <laughs> Guess set. Pockets, go. I got the first one and then I was like, I'm going way too fast to hit that jump. This little house. Yeah, that's like a super rare find. On a day like today, yeah, it's like the mountain's quiet, so it's not getting tracked out. And it felt so smooth riding down there on this board. Just felt on top of the snow, like very smooth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to buy one of these boards, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome guys, so we're just gonna try to give you guys a quick recap on these powder boards. What do you think, TJ? Yeah, I think uh, there was a couple things that really stood out to me. Um, one was the really wide tapered nose. Yeah. Uh, really pushed you to where you were on top of the snow, even on powder landings, and made it really stable. And the short tail allowed you to really quickly pivot back and forth and made the board really maneuverable, especially in the deep powder. What do you think, man? Did you feel that on the coho as well? Yeah, I just felt like the, the turns were smooth. Um, like there was, it was like effortless to stay on top of the snow. Yeah. Cause of that, like the wide nose of the board. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the, the, the short tail made it really quick to turn. So that was like, just made it smooth, 
floaty. Um, and then, yeah, the, it was a bit to get used to, like for the drops. I think we probably, it helped like when it, when I was thinking about it and anticipating the different feeling, then I was landing like equal weight on both feet and riding it out. And it was when I forgot that the sh tail was so short that I was leaning back yeah. and was sketching out. But I think if, yeah, if like for myself or like for riders out there who are riding a lot of powder, it's probably worth the investment. I'm thinking I might get one. <laughs> yeah, I need to add one of these to my quiver as well. <laughs> check out uh, TG on Instagram, at Board Archive. And you can check out my Instagram at Snowboard Pro Camp. And yeah, hit the subscribe button and check out the link to more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, TJ. Yeah. And thanks to Demo Center at the top of Blackcomb. Yeah. You can come grab a board. Yeah, today was amazing. Thanks, guys. And if you guys want to check out these boards, we'll put a link in the description to each one.